loves it's your girl April so today's video is of course another hair video and this one is by bestlacewigs.com first of all I've worked with them many times and this was on my prior channel so I haven't done anything for them in the past couple of years however I will tell you this time they contacted me and asked me if I would like to do their kinky straight or yakky kinky straight bundle hair now first of all I did actually make a wig using their bundle hair about three years ago and I still have it still love it it was their yakky straight the hair was like absolutely like butter it took well to bleach melted like melted into the bleach and that's a good thing when I'm telling you that like it didn't catch on fire so anyway this time around I got some kinky straight and it comes in these boxes which are new to me so these are the big red hair extension boxes I did get a brush with that as well and I'm gonna say something these are like the really good paddle brushes they're not the cheap ones that just fall kinky apart three bundles of their kinky straight 222s and a 20 and a 14 inch closure now their hair is really affordable um, they do have wigs as well if you guys are interested in that clip-ins extensions etc etc to be kinky straight you can see that it is kind of full however I'm gonna be honest and say that the texture is kind of in between silky and like a light yakky it does have like the crimson it or what have you however I will give them this the hair texture is really really pretty so each person has their own version of kinky hair however kinky hair is more coarser to me and this is more or less kind of like a silky texture with like crimps in it but we're gonna see how this works out this is probably gonna look really pretty once created um it is a double wefted the beards on it is really decent so this is the 22 inch and all of the bundles look exa exactly the same they're identical to this one here the ends look healthy um so they're not all thin they get a little bit thin at the very tip but nothing like major one of my favorite lace closures you girls know that I love it to be the reinforced sides like the heavy duty heavy duty sides so this is it right here um, this closure is actually a 4x4 four four inch closure so it's like the standard size closure not a lace frontal but the standard size closure and like some of the knots I just noticed like there are a couple right around in this area here that probably could be a little tiny tweeze but other than that the rest of the knots because I have it through the light they look decent it's just a couple in the middle that you know just could be tweezed a little bit I'm just gonna make this on a regular you know like cap wig just stay tuned for the video and we'll take it from there okay diva so I'm done with the best lace wigs wefting hair or weaving hair which is their kinky straight and like I said it is kind of like a silky texture I washed it after I created it and it did come back still crimpy but the ends needed a little bit of flat ironing so I did flat iron them but however I will tell you this it doesn't seem to get straight it doesn't stay kinky it's more or less to me like a light light yakky texture so it isn't silky straight and it isn't like kinky but it's more or less like a light yakky texture now for one I will tell you about this wig it did have a smell to it um, kind of like a chemical smell so I did have to wash it thoroughly but the one thing about this unit it took me like two and a half hours to create this one normally it takes me a lot longer like five to six hours because I like really thread the heck out of my units but for some reason this time I went super fast and I was done in like two and a half hours so I was really thrilled about that it curved left part on this unit and I did tweeze it a tiny bit because the knots like I stated in the beginning I did see a little bit of them but because the hair is so thick and it would have been a little bit well it would have not have been as noticeable as I would have liked it to be so with that being said it's always created on a mesh dome stretch cat no combs this time because I ran out but I do have them now so I will be putting this in later on but I just wanted to keep her straight because when I get kinky hair especially when it's kinky straight I love for it to be straight um, sometimes I will put a curl into it but so in some portions of it, it looks a little bit more crimped than others, especially in the nape area. It's three full bundles. At the end, because I do like to sew my tracks pretty close, at the end, probably about, there was probably like a quarter of it left. I did have to split the tracks in half. So the only thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some concealer on this so that I can 
make it look like it's my scalp. You know, a little scalpage. There's nothing wrong with a little scalpage. Put the concealer on the inner side, as well as that as I do the outside as well, because I just... All right, love, so let's get this thing going. Now, I already have a little bit of my hair left out for my leave out. I'm not gonna use all this hair that I have out, but I just leave it out just in case. So creating a wig was so easy. Like, I cannot believe I did this in like two and a half hours. It was super easy. I don't know what I did different, but it just, the time was just a lot quicker. And I think it has a lot to do with the hair texture and the hair itself. It was really easy to work with. So that's one thing. There weren't any flyaways or just hair tangling or getting through thread. The hair was super easy to work with. And you know, the standard method, my top of keratin fibers along with my concealer, just to rub that into my scalp and hairline to make it look seamless. Along with that, the topic keratin hair filler fibers actually fills out my hairline and makes it look so realistic. So one of my new top favorite hair glazes is the Eben New York, which I do have a video on already on YouTube, which you can check out. This glaze is like superior to all glazes. And all I'm gonna do is just glaze a little bit of my edges down and then brush them into the unit. Okay, so I really do like this one, despite the fact that it doesn't stay as crimpy as I would like it, but it's more or less, kind of like I said, a yakky texture, like a light yakky texture. So if you're up for that, then I say get the hair. Best Lace Wigs does have some really great hair. Like I said, I made a unit with their hair like some years ago. This was when I was living in New York still. So the wig is probably like three and a half years old now and I still wear it it's their yakky texture it's a beautiful hair it never gives me any problem and the good thing about their hair it never tangles on me and I'm not sure if it's because of the texture but their wig never tangles on me it doesn't give me any problem so this did shed as I was brushing it out meaning as I was washing it when I was creating it it was like butter, smooth sailing, didn't give me any issues, didn't tangle, didn't shed. The only shedding came from when I was actually brushing the conditioner through. And maybe I'm a little rough, but I just really need to make sure that this conditioner gets through any type of hair. But, yes, best lace wigs. Now, I will suggest if you're going to get a sew-in, wash the hair before you put it in your head because I did notice like a smell, it kind of smelled like a chemical smell, maybe more or less kind of like, it doesn't smell like that anymore, thank goodness, but it was kind of like a chemical smell, it would probably remind me kind of like, I want to say like corn chips, but not as potent as corn chips, but somewhere in that range. So once I washed the hair and I let the conditioner sit in it for like 20 minutes, just regular cream of nature eating um, conditioner, nothing expensive. And the smell came out, the hair just snapped back, became crinkly like this, and it dried, I let it air dry overnight. And that was basically it. So this is three full bundles and very full, very full hair. So you really don't need a lot unless you're a close track sewer like me. Then make sure that you split the track in half when you get up to the top. I do like it a little bit thinner on the top, especially up here, because I don't want it so bulky. Um, towards the back is fine. That's where all my tracks are mainly sewn closer. So when I have to thin out the tracks and split them, it's fine because it's right here where the closure is at. And I want it to lay as flat as possible. So for 22 inches, this is where she lands. And this is what the ends look like. So the ends aren't bad. I didn't trim them or anything. I just flat ironed them to kind of like straighten them out some and like I said it did get a little bit straighter at the ends so I tried to steer away from the actual top portion because I wanted it to stay as kinky and you know just kind of like coarse as possible but my favorite type of hair is like the kinky straight the yakky straight um I just prefer that hair opposed to silky straight like Brazilian virgin that hair is nice too but when you want it so many times you want something that looks so much more like an African-American texture. Than that, I will post all the information below for Best Lace Wigs website. They do sell wigs, wefting hair, clipping hair, you know, closures. I do love their wefting hair a lot. This is the second go round. And as well, if you're interested in a unit made or to get a custom unit made or 
video units that are already available for sale on my website. You can always check out gonewiththewindwigs.webly.com and I'll post that information for you guys in the information box below. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and as always, stay diva and divolicious, and I'll see you guys on my next video.